Hi, we are from at home tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on the rules of addition and subtraction of integers. Our first question is, compare your answers with the answers given below. So, when two positive integers are added, we get a positive integer. So, we are saying that statement is correct. So, for example, we have given 56 plus 73. So, both are positive integers. So, if you add 56 and 73, we will get 129. So, it is also a positive integer. Similarly, 113 plus 82. So, if you add this two, you will get 195. So, if you add two positive integers, you will get a positive integer. So, this statement is correct. So, construct five more examples in support of this statement. So, you have tried five more examples of the same type. So, what is given? When two positive integers are added, we will get a positive integer. So, we have to write examples for this statement. We have to add two positive integers and the result should also be a positive integer. For example, if we add 50 plus 50, we get 100. So, 50 is a positive integer. We are adding with again 50 is a positive integer. So, the result will be a positive integer. Okay, next, if you add 28 plus 32, so 28 is a positive integer, 32 is a positive integer. So, if you add this two, you will again get a positive integer that is plus 60. Okay, then next is 99 plus 101. 99 is a positive integer, 101 is a positive integer. So, if you add this two, you will get a positive integer that is plus 200. Next, 550 plus 250. So, if you add these two numbers, you will get again a positive integer because these two are positive numbers. So, if you add this two, you will get plus 800. Next is 88 plus 120. 88 is a positive integer. 120 is a positive integer. So, if you add this two, you will get 208, which is also a positive integer. So, our statement, that is the rule. When two positive integers are added, we get the positive integer is a correct statement. Next rule is, when two negative integers are added, we get the positive integer. So, they are saying this statement is incorrect. So, since they have given an example, positive 6 plus negative 7 equal to negative 13. So, which is not a positive integer. So, the correct statement is when two negative integers are added, we get a negative integer. So, they have given an example. Negative 56 added with negative 73 will get negative 129. So, similarly, negative 113 added with negative 82 will get negative 129. 95. So, this is what they have given. So, the question is construct five more examples on your own to verify this statement. Okay. So, now we will see what is the statement and how to construct five more examples. So, the statement is when two negative integers are added, we get a negative integer. The first statement given is when two negative integers are added, we get a positive integer they have given. So, but it is incorrect. So, we are correcting the statement by like this. When two negative integers are added, we get a negative integer as a result. So, let us construct five more examples. So, now negative 50 added, that is plus negative 3. So, we will get negative 53. So, two negative numbers added will give a negative number. Next is negative 86 added with negative 80 will give us negative 166. So, here also two negative numbers added. So, the result is a negative number. Next is negative 76 plus negative 93. So, the result will be negative 169. So, similarly, the negative number 100 added with negative number 112 will result in negative 212. So, two negative numbers added will result in a negative number. So, two numbers, negative 44 added with negative 44 will result in negative 88. So, these are the examples. So, we can conclude that when two negative numbers are added, the result is also a negative number. Our next question is, 
when we add one positive and one negative integer we get a negative integer so they are saying this statement is also incorrect because if one positive integer that is 16 it's added with one negative integer negative 9 so negative 9 plus one positive integer 16 will result in the number 7 okay so 16 minus 9 will be 7 so which is not a negative integer so they are saying this statement is incorrect so the correct statement is when one positive integer and one negative integers are added we take their difference and place the sign of bigger integer the bigger integer is decided by ignoring the signs of both the integers so let us see this statement with an examples so they have given negative 56 plus 73 that is positive 73 so one negative integer added with one positive integer so they are saying that we have to write the num sign of a biggest number so here biggest number is 73 and sign of 73 is plus so it's plus means even if we are not writing plus we have mean it is a positive number so then we have to subtract these two numbers ignoring the signs so 73 minus 56 is 17 similarly negative 113 plus positive 82 so here we have to put sign of the bigger integer so here the bigger integer is 113 so its sign is negative so negative then we have to subtract 113 minus 82 so we will get 31 so the result is minus 31 then 16 that is positive 16 plus negative 23 so here 23 is the bigger number so we are writing the sign of 23 that is negative then we are subtracting the numbers 23 minus 16 so we will get 7 so similarly 125 it's a positive integer plus negative integer so negative 101 so the result will be sign of the bigger number that is positive and 125 minus 101 is 24 so we have to construct five more examples for verifying this statement so our statement is if you add one positive integer with one negative integer the result could be the sign we have to take from the greater number and the result we will be taking the subtraction of larger number minus smaller number so we will construct five more examples so plus 50 added with negative 3 so that is sign of bigger number plus and then 50 minus 3 is 47 so plus 47 so 89 plus minus 35 will result in plus 54 and then plus 22 plus negative 44 so here 44 is the greater number so sign will be negative and 44 minus 22 is 22 so similarly negative 46 plus positive 78 so here 78 is bigger number so sign is positive so positive 78 minus 46 is 32 so similarly negative 50 plus positive 3 so here the sign of 50 is negative because it's a bigger number so negative 50 minus 3 is 47 and then plus 35 plus negative 89 so the sign of bigger number is negative because 89 is negative so negative 89 minus 35 will be 54 hope you have understood all the three rules of adding and subtracting integers thank you for watching this video